And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Eagles and the Saints on EA Sports. It's a building that's meant so much to the city of New Orleans and all of its residents over the years. Our coverage of the NFL has brought us to it, Caesar Superdome. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, I don't know if this goes right to the quarterbacks in this room. Both of these guys, players who've been on that league now for some time, they've definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two guys who've been through the season several times over, have seen a lot at this point in their career, and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. The one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience, more likely is going to come away with the win. The turn coming from the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. He's at the 25 after the return. Well, here come the Eagles for their opening drive. They're led out by a QB coming into his fifth NFL season out of Oklahoma. It's Jalen Hurts. Kate, he's had some time to work past their last game, and he needed every second of it. A four-interception game isn't easy for anybody to move on from, even for the shortest of memories. He's got to get his head right this week. This team needs him to deliver. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. So after their first offensive snap, we'll have a break in the action. One of the linemen in need of some attention from the trainers. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 27. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. I'm sure coach, a play caller, doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. And he's able to drive up past the 40. A look at his numbers on the ground from last week here. Even five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Third and a low yard coming up. Back to throw. Hurts. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. That play goes for eight yards, and it keeps these drive moving. They've got to like how they've been moving it early here. It's down to the opposing 45-yard line. He'll get this one to Brown. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon. He created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. No connection on the last play, and out third down. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he falls through the defense for a touchdown. Well, he couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all 
the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. Now Jake Elliott on to attempt the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Kickoff taken at the three. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. And now we'll get a look at the other offense as the Saints take the field. Leading them out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. Last week, Kate, you won't call his effort wasted, never. But you wish a game like that would have come in a win instead of showing up in a contest they ended up dropping. Two touchdowns, no picks. That's the type of game that wins are typically built off of. They'll run here on first down. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Here's second and 11. That one's incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Here's Carr. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. It's exactly how you draw it up defensively. A three and out and a sack on top of it. Create that negative play. Create a little doubt in that quarterback's mind. And offensively, well, that's the worst way to start it. No rhythm, no tempo. And now you give the ball right back to the opponent. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. 58 yards on the punt there. And it'll be good field position for them as they take over right at midfield. Option design here. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Here's Hurts. Oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints will take over as he records his first interception of our season. I know he started to play as a defender. Gosh, he looked good, didn't he? Running the back. He looked like a receiver navigated on that return. The way he saw the field, he baited obstacles and he chewed up yardage in the open space. Wouldn't make those offensive coaches and teammates proud. We've seen defensive players get touches on occasion. And I think he just gave himself maybe a look on that side of the ball down the road. This New Orleans offense ready up for its second drive of the contest. They didn't start the game off like they wanted, Brock. Still searching for that opening first down as they take the field a second time. This one's caught. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Now call. This throw is caught. And he'll pick up the to move the chains. Just great instincts. Go bear it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Card in the air now. And he will score it's a good touchdown. The Saints put it to a long pull on the scoreboard. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Brock. And it turns out, hey, nothing was gonna stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense. Look at QB draw. This ball's going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play. They just exposed them. On now is McManus to kick this away. Return coming from the six. 
And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Philadelphia getting ready to go on offense. And coming off the interception, a good chance to reestablish some momentum as they get set. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. First down play, that's a five. It's going to be second and five. They go to Barkley again. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. Holding offense. Well, partner, they say they're holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Second and 15. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You've got to time up your hit, and you've got to jar that ball loose. A lot of offensive players are hanging on the back when you feel well placed yet. And the Saints team watching who are interrupted. Team is on now, and they get this away. And he's going to call for the fair catch here at the 38-yard line. They don't get a return out of that bunt. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. On first down, they'll run. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. We saw those guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion, so that effort up front wasn't in vain. They make the tackle at the 38. He brings the offense up now for first and 10. So that connection for a first will bring us to the end of the first. Both teams neck and neck so far. Back to the Superdome of Caesar in just a bit. We're back for the second quarter. Saints in possession of the football. They're looking at first down here. And the receiver's going to take this one on the jet sweep. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Can I have a moment, Kate? Just a moment to marvel at how well they reacted to that play on defense. They were all over from the start. Getting behind the line to blow up the play. Then how many times do we see his highlight reel touchdowns going the other way? And he'll be brought down at about the 29. You know, they really love that Drake route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. Looking to throw on third and one. The Eagles swarm in and take him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Here comes the Saints punting unit. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. They're out and set. First and 10. Barkley on the shotgun handoff. And he took a couple of guys to hold him down there after a gain of just one. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he'll get it up to the 27. I call this quarterback the best friend. Some call it a safety down. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you've got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you could depend on. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Mark 
Rutgers reset. Ball at the 37. Option give here. And he's brought down for a ball. All right, here we go. Second down. Throwing here. Hurts. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. The goal of that little drive round is to get him for at least a minimal game with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk. It was nearly a big play. He has the first over the middle. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. A 70-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third down. It's a money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. And he's able to work this down to the 41. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second to one. Back-to-back carries here. And he'll get them enough for a first down. You know what I like about a second and short run play, Kate? Yeah, I like getting a first down. You know what I like even more? That's going to set up a play-action passing similar down in distance, and that defense is going to have to key on the run. He's got it. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. Second and three now. Here's a give inside to Gainwell. And he's brought down at the line. Nothing gained or lost on that run, and now it's third and three. John Long, so many D tackles in this league is eat up space. Don't get moved off your spot. But the difference makers, they just not only eat the space, they eat those runners too. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. Five yards on that play, and enough for a new set of downs. You're not going to last long in the national... You don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. They'll go from the gun with Barkley. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stopped right at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they finish second and ten. Hurt setting up to throw. Pressure coming, and they take him down. Offense looking to converge as they come up on third down. Motion in left is their running back. Third and long for him here. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. So on fourth down, on comes the Eagles kicker Jake Elliott for the try. It's on the left hash, 46 yards out. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. And the Orleans offense set to go now. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Now they send their back in motion right. Throwing his car. This is reeled in by the man. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. They'll get 31 yards on the play. And the Saints are going to have a first down. Speaks to this guy's talent is just an all-around difference in the playmaker. We see him line up as a receiver, and we don't even bat an eye, Kate. And we don't really bat an eye when he makes that kind of play either. This guy's just different, built for the moment. 
Looking to throw. Carr. Camara's got it. And he runs this to the 25 before being brought down. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. They have themselves another first and 10. First and 10 at the 25 yard line. Carr setting the throw. Gets this to Johnson. And he'll go down here at the 16. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. He's got it. Room to run. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. We have a timeout here. Second one taken by New Orleans. The tight end going in motion right. Play action on first. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out. But I believe the Saints got this one back. Yep, someone laid it on top of that one. The Saints call their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Only time left for one more snap drop, so they're going to run out their field goal unit. It's a 34-yarder from that right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to tie us up just before that time. Well, nothing to critique there. Good snap, good hold, and puts it through to pay off the drop with three points. Well, Brock Barton, a touchback. This kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Here comes the final play of our first half. Looking to throw. He put everything he had into this one. Brought in inside the 20. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. We've arrived at the break, and what a second half we're in store for. It's tied at 10 after 2. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll get started up at Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland. And a touchdown separating these two as they've gone to halftime. Two touchdown passes there for Deshaun Watson. From there, we'll make the trip down to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they've got the lead over the visiting Chicago Bears. Anthony Richardson with a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. See what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Packers. Traylon Burks, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. These two teams making their final adjustment for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. For the call, let's rejoin Kate Scott and Brock Hewer. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome y'all back for the start of our third quarter. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. New Orleans offense ready to get to work to begin this third quarter. And their last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Defender's smart there to get a hand on that one. And it'll be third and five coming up. Carr. Taken in by Shaheen. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. 
Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it on line, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole. But you never want to leave it short. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Eagles and Saquon Barkley ready to take over once again. Call that punt a 52-yard effort. And that is where they'll start the next drive. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Barkley trying this up the gut. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. They come through with a nice scan of 10 and a first down. Hey, even though that was an excellent run, i got to talk about the receivers here, Kate, because nine times out of ten, you see a run like that in this league, 10 plus, you know those guys on the outside are doing their job, shining as blockers, keeping those defenders away from the back. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. They give it to him again. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. It's a four-yard pickup, and they need the same now here on third down. Hurts looking to throw. That's caught for the first. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. They get 18 yards out of it, and a new set of downs. Ball at the 33 for first down. Straight ahead, here's Barkley. And he's going to get this to the 29 before he stopped. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They got two yards there. That leaves him with third down and five. Hurts. Complete beyond the marker. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. They'll see he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed. Enough to keep this drive moving. And he gets it down to the 13-yard line. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. Well, we've talked about this before, Brock. The thinking simple but effective. We'll stop getting it to this guy. Uh, when you find a way to stop it, and they have yet to do that today. You know there's just certain things up in this booth that I love. I think you could feel it emanate from me. And one of them is when you impose your will, and you don't back away from it. If they can't stop it, ruin it right now. Okay, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. And with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. Throwing now, third and two. The throw is caught. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. Tight end that moves the chains on third down. That's a QB's best friend. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Back to throw. Hurts. Buying some time left. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles grab the lead on their first series of the half. Jalen Hurts with the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain, he did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down, and when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And the 
decent return. Ends as they bring him down inside the 30. First and ten. One of the tight ends in motion left. They go play action on first. Connects with Johnson. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end. Because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets up, he gets some leverage. He gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. He gets six on that play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. First down here at the 41 yard line. Carr back to throw. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Brings up second down. Trying again, following the set. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Here he is on third and long. Gets everything he has under this throw. That's complete inside the 35-yard has the field, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. McMahon is on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. On now is McManus to kick this away. Return coming from the six. Find some space. He's past the 30. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that. They've got first down from the 31. To the ground with Barkley. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. The Packers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet. Have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. Here's second and 11. This one finds Goddard. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. First down, Eagle. We're still tied through three here. Neither defense has given an inch in this one. It's a tie ball game through three. We'll see which side separates here in the four. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. They run it with Saquon. Into the secondary past the 40. And he's taken down just in time at the 2. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. <laughs> he just didn't quite have the last bit of burst needed to finish it off. But don't be surprised to see them go his way again soon. Give him a chance to earn that touchdown. 
Working inside the red zone. And he scores! It's a Philadelphia touchdown! The Eagles take a fourth quarter lead. Jalen Hurts with the touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. you got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. That's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Saints and Derek Carr about ready to get back to work. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. start out with a first and ten. Now it's a bootleg for him. Over the middle. Cuts. Complete pass. One goes for 25 yards. And the Saints are going to have a first down. One play in and this drive is already in the enemy territory. First and ten at the 47 yard line. Oh, looks like the defense got a little too excited there. That's going to be a penalty. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. He thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. Still first down. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Here's Carr. Big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Another try following the sack. But on the other side, gosh, defensive. Get that. Player down. Period. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Splits the uprights. And we're all knotted up. On now is McManus to kick this away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Get that big old marker out. Cross a major number off his roadmap after that last drive. He's reached one of the marks that every back strives to hit at some point during the season. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's Saquon. In the middle of the they don't get anything on the run. No progress on first down, and they'll bring up second and ten. Hurts the throw. Puts a couple of defenders and completes it. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. Third and four coming up now.
throwing here. Hurts. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it up to the 38 yard line before going down. Pick up a five on that play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. Here's Barkley. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in your own way is telling the running back, son, we did not give you any chance. He's got Smith. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can come in there and there's nothing this defense can do. From the gun on third down. He'll get this one to Brown. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. An excellent gain. 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. On the handoff, it's Buckley. And he's tackled for no gain. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. These big D tackles in this league, they love weaponizing their size right in the middle of the field. It is so hard to clear a lane against them. And once he got his paw on him, it was dead on arrival. And he scores! It's a Philadelphia touchdown! The Eagles take a fourth quarter lead. It's a Devontae Smith touchdown. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Elliot on now to attempt to point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Elliot Dell set for the kickoff. This one's fielded at the four yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. They gave the best kick returners I was ever around, really at any level. They want this opportunity. They want their chance to help their team. They know they're down, but they also know that return, especially a good one like this, can set the offense up for success. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. And creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 37. That's complete to Camaro. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Looking to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Offense looking confident, but they need four here on fourth down. Running back, motioning right. 
Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. This running back catches it downfield. And he will score to the Orleans touchdown. The Saints cut it to a point late in this one. Alvin Kamara on the touchdown. On for the PAT and a make would tie us up late. That one splits the uprights, and we're all tied up. On now is McManus to kick this away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Eagles returning their offense in this running back to the field. The game really in their hands at this point, Brock. We're going to see whether it's a celebration coming up next or overtime. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now to throw. He's going to push one deep down the right. That's complete inside the 35. It's a huge pickup on the play. And that's a Philadelphia first down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. Headed right, Barkley. And he managed to get this one down to the 27. The Saints calling for a timeout, so they're first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Here's another carry for Barkley. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Timeout taken by the defense. They're second. The Saints call their third and final timeout. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. On in is Barkley. And he'll have a short pick up down to 17. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, against the better defenses in this league.
All right, so in overtime, Brock, we could see one possession or we could see three plus. If the team who gets it first scores, the game ends then and there. A field goal or less, and we play on, and their opponents get a chance to respond. And if we're still tied after those first two possessions, the soccer chick likes this. It's golden goal football, Brock. The next score would win. And hopefully this conclusion will be just as exciting as our opening four quarters. The kick is away here in overtime. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Here comes the Saints offense. They couldn't quite get the job done in regulation. But the home crowd rising now to fire them up and help them finish the job right away in OT. An alert play defensively there. Got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. Second and ten now. for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Trying to throw here out of the gun. This is reeled in by and he's short the first after a mild game. Let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. Carr back to throw. He finds the open man there, complete. And he'll go down here at the 16. It's a pickup of 34 yards. And the Saints are going to have a first down. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre step It was great design and a tremendous execution. So fans start to stream from the Superdome to the French Quarter as it's a win for the Saints. And it took some extra effort for them, some bonus football before they were finally able to separate from the opposition and earn that hard-fought victory. This has been another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. With all our crew here and my broadcast partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. It's a win for the Saints as we say so long from New Orleans.